Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Alright, since the last episode, I've been looking into seeing if there was like ways that I could... Excuse me. Ways that I can actually power level. Like for instance, going into a duel, get some experience, and then quit out and re-enter and see if the experience will carry over. It does not work that way. The only way you can level is if you actually progress through the campaign as normal. And you can only face each duelist once. So that's kind of annoying, but that means I have to actually get good. Do you want to fight on this stage? Well, where else am I going to fight Tristan? Behind the school? Because that's what bullies do. And the Pharaoh ain't no bully. Alright, I'm surprised Tristan's my second opponent. Ta-da! It's me, the man, the legend, Tristan Taylor. Yugi, I may not be as experienced as you when it comes to games, but if you take me lightly, I'm gonna make you pay. I know. That's why I'm going to use all my skills to defeat you. No matter who my opponent is, I will use all my strength to defeat you. That is my proof as a true duelist. Oh, um, maybe you don't need to use all your skills. You know, maybe just some, please. Alright, so you see how he likes to mostly use wood monsters. I can finally make use of those fire reapers I got. Uh, I'll go first. This should allow me to get my monsters ready from the get-go. Alright, so a couple wood monsters, and I'm seeing a couple thunder monsters, actually. Alright, I can only go up to 300 MP for this one. Alright, this Karibo is out of commission, unfortunately. However, at least I still have one. And if I were to, like, quit out of this battle right away, and then return, that Karibo can come back. Alright, I think I should take Haniwa to deal with the Thunder Monster, or Thunder Monsters. Joel Bird would... Actually, would Joel Bird even be good? No, because Forest Monsters can wreck wind. I could probably help use a support for the Earth side. So yeah, we'll bring in Joel Bird. And I think Joel Bird has some pretty good mobility. We'll put in Fire Reaper. And then Feral Imp. And only got room for one more. But who do I want to bring out? I think I'll bring in Skelengel. Or Skelengel. Yeah, I think it's Skelengel. I'm gonna put this symbol up front. And let's actually do this manually. So I'll put Fire Reaper here. Haniwa can go over here. Okay, goes diagonally. Feral Imp can go here. Skelengel here. And last but not least, Drollbird here. Alright, let's go. I did increase the sharpness, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. It's time to start. Now I know I could probably just use like 
have two different save files and maybe import or anti-monsters that way so that my save file at the start can have something better. But I think people would appreciate the times that I could find myself raging. Like to see me struggle once in a while. I think my viewers actually really like that. So I don't plan on disappointing. Okay, I gotta think like two moves ahead. Which I'm not exactly good at. Hey, you haven't even got to one yet. Okay, looks like... I guess those are petite mods. Oh, a Kaminari Kazo. And I think that's a Steel Scorpion. So he's only got four monsters, but we got the numbers game. So there's that. I'll tear down your defenses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One step at a time, Yug. We gotta at least get over there first. Okay, let's put the Fire Reaper here. I think you can go over here, too. The Droll Bird can move pretty far. So I think what I'm gonna do... Okay, that's just regular land. That's good. We'll put you over here. Because you'll see these tiles over here, that's electric. And it actually does do damage to non-thunder monsters. So be very careful with that. The other side actually has spores. Which are dangerous to anything that's non-forest. I don't exactly have the right method to, like, rush right in there to do some damage. At most, maybe Droll Bird could get a lot of mileage. But I think I'm better off just waiting for these guys to start coming over. put Feral Limp over there, too. Actually, you know what? Maybe over here. Not over here. Okay, you can attack over this way. And you can attack over there. Actually, maybe I'll put Droll Bird here. That might give us a little bit of coverage. Let's see how aggressive Tristan gets. Oh, he's really moving that Kaminari Kazo now. Alright, now I gotta think about this. Should I start moving my own pieces? Let's see, it can go diagonally. So, let's see. One. Okay, I can't really do much. Probably wait for it to come to us. I think it's a good spot. Should Feral Imp stay go over here instead? I think I'll leave you right there. Actually... Yeah, over here is good. Just stay right there. Like I said, if I had, like, stronger capsules... I could just rush right in there and go after that, uh, crystal. Or a symbol. The nomenclature is actually called a symbol.
Oh, he's pulling it back. Okay. That's an interesting choice. The petite mods, however, are still moving. So that gives me some hope that it'll actually try to do something. You know what? We'll put you over here. I'm waiting for those mods to get closer so I can just send my Fire Reaper in. yet. Okay, do you have a move if you go up this way? Mm, no, it's blocked off by that. That's unfortunate. You don't have an attack here, really? Huh. No, you you don't have an attack. I wonder if that Kaminari Kazo is gonna head over this way. Steel Scorpion move. I guess it's just forward, right? Okay, it can go diagonally, too. Alright, I'm just waiting for you. Do your thing, Tristan. Good! You actually can't attack me in this pos position. You just left your Kaminari Kazo to be a victim. I don't know how wise a choice that was. So I think I could get more than one attack on you. Tear him a new one, Feral Limp. That's what I love to see. If I take another attack, I'll be on the next train to Loserville. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, you can't attack because of skill because of the Fire Reaper's position, huh? I could, however, just actually. You can go over here if I move Fire Reaper forward. I'm gonna take some spore damage, but let's go for it. That was almost enough. Ah, oh, come on, take it easy. No, how about you take it hard?
This should end it. Ah, time out. Time out. See, this is why you're a patient when you got to deal with hazards. Because sometimes opportunity just waits for you. Ah, with that guy gone, things only look downhill from here. You're only realizing that now, huh? Hmm, could you go for an attack, Haniwa? Okay, you can go for an attack if I move you this way. Or, actually, you know, I can do both. Both of us can go after that Steel Scorpion. I like how they just like gently turn. That's how Hanua looks when it's fighting. Oh, that that's not cool looking. Those arms are hideous. Come on, take it easy. And you can go in there for the kill. Beautiful work. So we've already taken out both of Tristan's uh electric or well thunder monsters. Good night. Which part of take it easy do you not understand? Well, I guess I have to end my turn. What choice do I have? Oh, you want to move my symbol? Uh, I'm not too sure, but it looks like I'm losing. Oh, you're definitely losing, all right. Oh no, Petite Mont's gonna hit me. Whatever will I do? You're only gonna do 62 damage to me. Ah, uh, 15 damage? Ah, uh, 15 damage is no big deal. I think that opens up a seam for us to get to the crystal. I take damage there. I can't let that happen again. All right. Everything went according to plan. You're down two monsters. Take it easy, pal. Now is not the time to let up. All right, you can finish it right there. Do it. I'm just a crown, wings, and a belt. You think you can stop me? Hell no. Okay, what is your movement like? You only move like a... Uh... I can move... You move over there, you're probably gonna take a hit at me. So what I should do is not move there, but instead move here. It's 
It's gonna leave me more vulnerable, but I, I gotta take a chance. Okay, Hanuma going diagonally kinda helps. I... Oh, that's right, I can't go over there. And that'll be enough. So really the monster that's going to take the most damage is Fire Reaper. And at the end of the day, it's not going to be too dreadful. But it seems Petite Mod's retreating. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Even if I move all the way over here, Petite Moth cannot hit me. So that's good. I think we can get Feral Imp going as well. But I think we're going to start you here first so you can move forward more. Okay, this will get me off the electricity. This is still electric, but I'm pretty much at the threshold. Alright, so far so good. That Petite Moth is just being a bit annoying. Because it knows the spores don't hurt it. <laughs> huh. If I move over there, Petite Moth can go after Haniwa. So I might need to go over here. Can I reach? I'm close! I could go right for the symbol next turn. It'll definitely go for an attack if I move over there. Feral Imp. Oh. You don't have a shot. Damn. Thought you would have had one. But no, positioning has to be a bitch sometimes. I wonder if it'll try to go after the Droll Bird. Oh! I looked at my placement wrong. Yeah, so Fire Reaper is gonna get got. That was a, like a m miscalculation on my part. It's not gonna kill me, but the spores will. Well, that sucks. It seems I can't go one video so far without losing a single card or capsule. It's happened every single one out of two. That's a shame. Oh, you can go for an attack right now. I think I'd rather Feral Limp go for the kill. You know what, let's turn the animations off. 
Let's get things moving along. Wait, if I go for an attack, I, I, I instantly win. But I think it'd be more exciting to go for a symbol destruction. I'm at type disadvantage, so I don't think that's gonna help. I think that's what I'll aim for. Is if I defeat Petite Moth, I instantly win. Believe it or not, you get more experience for destroying the symbol. So I'm gonna have to move the Skalengal out of the way. If I can't destroy it, I'm just gonna have to finish the battle. Screw it. I can't risk losing another one. Even if it's temporary. Let's see, can we bust it up here? I don't think we can. Yeah, even if I land all the way here, it's not gonna work. I don't think it matters where I'm to. Just do it over here. That might make it easier for Drollbird to level up real soon. Yeah, just finish it. Wait, that won't finish it? I grossly miscalculated again! Fuck! I'm gonna end up losing another monster! I always love how I just do like one little miscalculation and it ends up being a catastrophic one. Like that's all it takes for me. So Skalangle's not gonna get any experience for clearing the battle. Are you and then catch me off guard later. This sucks. I'm gonna get less of a benefit from it now. Can Hanawa get in position to attack it? This should do considerably more. Oh, just... You have attack available right away. What am I doing? This will finish you! There, I got my first symbol destruction. Why do you have to aim for my symbol? You left it open. What was I supposed to do? I mean, what else was I supposed to do? I stumbled on my own words! I knew I didn't stand a chance against an expert like you, but it was a lot of fun. Keep it up, Yugi. I'm counting on you to win it all. Thank you, Tristan. There, now he levels up. Alright, so the MP thankfully stays the same. Do you want to do a level up? Why would I say no? <laughs> yep, so you do get some 
stat gains. I think it's only in defense, though. Which is still nice. Also the first time we leveled up a monster in this Let's Play. Select an enemy! Oh, that's easy. I'll take Kaminari Kazo. I think I already got a Petite Moth. Don't I already have a Steel Scorpion, though? No, I think Petite Moths are pretty cheap, so you know what? I'll just take these two. Once again, I cannot go one battle without losing a Capsule. But at least I still won. I'm not aiming for, like, being perfect, I mean, this is the first time I'm trying to finish this game. And this game has a reputation for being pretty damn hard. So I think if I can get through this game without using, like, the optimal choices that most people probably did to finish the game, I'll be happy with that. Alright, so the next episode, you know what, I think we'll only do like one battle per episode, even if it is only a half hour. I'm pretty sure a game like this, it lends itself a little bit better just to keep it consistent to like, one duel per video. Alright, so next episode, we go to the Voltage Cage against Duke Devlin. See everyone, thanks for watching.